Welcome to Out Vintage. My name is Jonathan, and today we have something a bit different. We have a ragmill sack opening, although I've already obviously opened it. BK Covered Wholesale, BK Vintage Wholesale, uh, they sell raw sacks direct from a UK ragmill. If, if sustainability is something you're concerned about, getting stock direct from the UK mills is something that's going to definitely bring down your carbon footprint. This stock hasn't been all the way around the world just to get back to England. This is sourced here from mills in the UK. So when somebody throws something away at a charity bin or in a charity shop and they send stuff off to the mills, this is where this is sourced from, those mills. Usually those mills will sell and, uh, send or sell that stuff to Poland, uh, Africa, Pakistan, where it'll get resorted again, reshipped, removed around, and then you can end up with this massive trail of middlemen before it ends up getting back to the UK. So that if you're looking for sustainability, this is definitely a way to go. Um, basically you're getting all your vintage sourced within the UK so it's uh, it's nice and easy uh, this cost 10 quid a kilo you have to buy a minimum of two sacks the sacks can weigh uh, 10 to 20 kilos it varies obviously depending on how the rag mill fills them uh, what BK Cupboard do to, for a bit of transparency is they'll do a video call for you where they'll actually show you an unboxing or an unsacking of the uh, sacks as they put it into boxes so you can confirm whether or not that is the sack you want. Now you can't cherry pick your sacks, you get what you're given, but at that point you can decide whether or not you want to buy it or not. Um, so we did that. This is the sacks that I picked. Um, so we're gonna go through it. Uh, the sack, in total by the way, it costs 380 quid, including delivery. Um, also, at some point in this video, there's gonna be a giveaway. Um, but I'll get to that when I get to it. I'm going to try and keep it random somewhere in the thing, so you have to watch it. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So now this, when you're buying um, raw sacks, you are going to get some grading issues because obviously the rag, this is direct from a rag mill. Uh, usually when a wholesaler gets stuff direct from a rag mill, they'll regrade it themselves. So there is going to be a one or two bits with some issues, but we'll kind of show you that as we get to it. So first up, we've got a pair of uh, Tommy Hilfiger jeans, uh, 3130s or 3132s, nice size. We've got a women's Paris Adidas, which is nice. This kind of weird Berghaus fleece top with like the wooden button up, that's pretty cool. And a less uh, small crop long sleeve. Um, very like stretchy i think it's for a for a size four so for you tiny girls out there a nice ralph Lauren polo with the chevrons across the back nice striped ralph Lauren sport sturgio sergio sturgio mr ticini nice little uh polo more jeans nice pair of lee what size are we uh, probably 90s by the looks of it. Brooklyn Comfort 3630 made in Mauritius. So yeah, like 90s. As is what some of you are probably looking for. A bit more modern, but it's a Nike hoodie. Another Nike hoodie, needs a bit of a wash. Uh, I'll put the wash stuff on the floor behind me. So this is what I talk about when you buy from rag mills. You're going to get some stuff. This guy obviously used this for painting. I don't know if you can see that, but basically there's holes, marks, muck. Uh, probably good for reworking. I'll stick that down there for now. Early Y2K Nike. It's actually quite a thick hoodie, actually. A little Ralph Lauren Pima. Pima? Pima, Pima cotton sweater. A fairly modern Adidas, but there's lots of little pulls all over it. This is not bad. Easy 18 quid. Nice thick cotton Ralph Lauren shirt. Classic fit. Columbia raincoat. This needs a bit of a wash, but other than that, it's not too bad. Oh, pardon me. For all you... Uh, Spell out lovers, Harvard, Columbia, hoodie. He's a wash as well. 
again this is another one of the ones that it looks nice but it's been chewed up by moths and all sorts by the looks of it um, again not much you could do about that you could patch it maybe um, what you can do if you've got old western shirts which are damaged with the check rough cut them sew it over just patch it up a nice adidas hoodie essentials fairly modern again tommy hill figure uh polo we just saw one of these on how to vintage actually that sold for 20 quid so easy 20 quid there oh that's weird some more modern adidas but it's got like a felt felt thing again needs a clean this is coming direct from the mill so it's unlaundered this is a youth adidas track top not much you can do with the youth track top uh adidas originals they're a bit damaged though some damage down the leg levi's hoodie just a small little embroidered logo nice puma hoodie nice and clean that one i don't know if you're keeping count but we've got some decent money in here so far there's a few bits that need attention Oh, made in Singapore. Uh, nice Adidas. This is a 90s sweater. That's a couple of quid there. What's this Puma? Double XL Puma. Again, might need a bit of a wash. You're going to have to wash some of this stuff. Oh, that's uh, San Adidas Originals. So it's made to look like the 70s tee. It's actually pretty cool. It just needs a clean, tiny little pull in the bottom. So I'm going to stop there for a second because we go seven minutes. You might have noticed the LS fleece behind me. That came in this box. We're giving that away to enter the giveaway to win that. Um, it includes all the shipping and everything. I'll send it wherever it needs to go. All you need to do is comment in the um, comments below. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and share this post on social media. Uh, and I'll be picking a winner based off the comments below. So comment below and I'll drop you a message um, if you're the winner. So uh, well, how long are we going to run this to? We'll run this, we'll run this for a week. So uh, this is Monday the 10th, I want to say. Monday the 10th. So Monday the 17th, uh, we will like pick a winner uh, for that track top. Uh, not track top, for that fleece. It's funky. It's worth like 50 quid. It's mint condition. Um, so if you want to win that, uh, comment below, subscribe, and do all the social media nonsense. Let's crack on. So another Adidas hoodie. It's nice, simple hoodie. Another Adidas Originals with the gold stripes and the back uh, embroidered. But they got the taped arms. Nike Athletics. Nice track top. Adidas track top with like unique like raw hem and then the zips up the side. Puma track top. This is one. We got a couple of these, I think. This is a Disney uh, bear shirt. So it's a sweater, but it feels like fur, but it's not fur. And it's got Blue's face on from the Jungle Book. Another Adidas track top. These are all like 20 quid jobbers. Couple of t-shirts. You know how I feel about t-shirts. Uh, Adidas Polo. Another t-shirt. Barber fleece lining. It sells slow. Stick it on eBay for 30 quid. Somebody will buy it eventually. Now this is nice. It's an early 2000s Nike. Kind of like puffery jacket. It's quite thick, quilted. Not an actual puffer jacket, but it's just like qu nice quilt lined uh, coat really nice size so we'll put that in that box uh just a barber quilted jobby there's no tags in it which kind of makes me question it a wee bit the buttons are right though so we're gonna go with it's real there's so many when they started pushing those out and they were like really popular in the early 2000s so many fucking fakes of them uh nike hoodie that needs to go in that box actually. 
an Aqua Skewton shirt, which is cool. And it's in really nice condition. I don't know what the resale on their shirts are, but hopefully it's a good 20 quid, I reckon. But it's really nice. It's got like pearlescent Aqua Skewton. Oh, they are. It's Mother of Pearl buttons on it. Actual Mother of Pearl buttons, which is cool. Yeah, on the not just Mother of Pearl buttons, but the Mother of Pearl buttons that are inscribed. Those buttons probably took a bit of time. <laughs> uh, a Nike hoodie, but it's uh, had a bit of a run in with bleach. This is one of these ones that's going to get, I'm going to have to just like, heavily bleach to kind of fix it through. Uh, North Face fleece, Henley Hansen fleece, Polo, uh, not Polo, Puma hoodie. This feels like an old feeler, but it's actually a Tommy, a Tommy uh, polo shirt, but it's a really nice feel to it. Just needs a wash. Stone Island. Now, I've actually already had this checked by some of my guys, and they said it looks real. So it's a Stone Island long sleeve tee with a pocket, similar to the tee I'm wearing now. Uh, that needs a wash, though. This is a bit different. This has been reworked. It's been cropped and then had... Uh, heavy embroidery put on it, which I think is pretty funky. Uh, another Henley Hansen. There's like a little rain mac. Original sports. Nice Adidas. Like an 80s Puma. It's a fleece lined feeler pullover, which I think is pretty funky. Needs a clean now. Classic Reebok, nice cowl neck. Here's the other Disney one, it's uh, whatever the fuck that is, a snowman. Uh, I can go in that box. Now this is where we get into the cool stuff. I'll save the best stuff to the end. Nice Umbro spell out, 90s one. Uh, I can go in that box. Sweater shop uh, with the ski graphic on it. All embroidered, really, really nice condition. Henley Hansen, this is a Packamax, so all this can actually fold down into a bag, which is pretty cool. New York Yankees, Majestics Varsity. Aqua Scutum, uh, it's like a riding jacket, so if you go back to like the Princess Diane, where she was riding horses, she'd have something like this. The sleeves are removed, so if you're mocking out your horses, you can take the sleeves off and save the sleeves. But a really nice padded uh, riding jacket, that should be 50, 60 quid on its own. Early 2000s, like maybe late 99, 98, uh, Adidas Rain Mac. And last but not least, a Reebok. Now the only problem with the Reebok is, there is a very small melt just in the back, sadly. But that is a 90s Reebok. Oh, and a champion cap. So there you go. That is that box. That's what you'll get from one of the rag mills. Obviously, it's not what you'll get. You'll get a mix of stuff. Um, but that should give you a very good idea of the kind of mix you'll get from these UK rag mill sacks. Really nice stuff. If you like buying random stuff and you like to have a varied shop, you're definitely going to get your money's worth out of this. Um, there are a few bits that need some work, but that's the nature of the beast when you're basically buying direct from the mill. You're basically taking on the responsibility of uh, sorting it yourself. Same as if you're buying an unsorted bale from other companies, they're literally unsorted. Uh, BK do take a bit of uh, time, so if there is something that catches their eye, they will pull it out if it's not the best. However, for the most part, this is all really, really good stuff. Uh, the stuff that does have issues is very minor and easy to miss on the first pass or even the second pass. One of those Ralph Lorenz, I didn't even notice it to the third pass. Um, but yeah, the return on this is well over a grand, I reckon. Uh, plenty of money to be had, plenty of profit to be made. Some really unique bits that are going to really kind of give your shop that unique selling point. So yeah, there you go. Uh, again, this video isn't sponsored. I bought this because I just wanted to have a bit of a random stock. Uh, a lot of you guys actually have been reaching out to me, um, buying these, getting asking me to help ID some of the stuff you've been getting. And there's been people getting bell staffs, barbers, uh, some really, really nice stuff um, in them. Uh, so yeah, 
if you like if this is how you like to keep your stock this is a nice way of doing it the added benefit of being more sustainable um, if you want to enter the giveaway again comment below subscribe share on social media and in a week's time i'll be giving away um that it won't be monday the 17th i lied because this video won't be going live until this saturday which is like what the 15th so it'll be what's that may the 22nd i'll be doing the giveaway on a saturday so this video will be going live on saturday um and the giveaway will be the saturday after so there we go until next time my name is jonathan and uh let's make you some profit i'm trying to get, get a catchphrase and that's it let's make you some profit okay let's go with that